Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Havoc. In this one, we're gonna install this bad boy, this Corsair two terabyte SSD, specifically designed for the PS5. We're gonna update the PS5 here with the storage. I'll put a link down in the description below of where you can pick this up. But once again, Corsair did send this to me to install. Thank you so much to our friends at Corsair. Let's get into it. For this install, you're going to need a couple things. Obviously, a PS5, remove the base, and you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. The scariest part about this entire installation is getting the cover off of your PS5. So you can see here, I have the disc area up and in front of me. And the part that's opposite, corner opposite of the disc drive, which is this corner here, you want to lift up a little bit and then push this way. So this is the scariest part. It can have like little sounds that you're like, oh, I don't want to break it. You don't have to lift this part very much. Um, it, there's two little clips underneath. You just need to disengage those. There won't be any like snap sound or anything, but you lift that up and you push it down and there you go. Came right out. So a little scary that you're going to break it, but you're good to go. And then as you can see, um, these were the two little clip thing, little holes there. They actually were locked into those little there. That's what keeps the whole thing on. And then these are just slide into the different holes there to keep the cover on. This is the bad boy we're looking for here. This is where that SSD is going to go. This is where our Phillips head screwdriver comes in. And it's funny, you can't see it. I'll show you the camera here, but this screw is actually branded for the PS5 or Sony PlayStation. I'll show you here in a second. Make sure you don't lose it. So I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to see this, but there's all the, uh, there we go. There's all the different shapes that are on the PlayStation controller on those screws. We'll pop this cover off, and then we'll also take off the mounting screw here. You want to have a pretty small size uh, Phillips head screwdriver. The one I have is just probably a little too big, but we're making it work. I don't have like one for glasses or anything handy. I do not suggest using an electric screwdriver. There's also this little silver spacer. You wanna make sure you take that out as well. So let's come over here. Here's our SSD. And you can see it lines up uh, different areas right there. We have the little notch, there's a little notch there. We'll pop that in there. Click it in and boom, that's where it's gonna fit. But we need to put our spacer in. I just wanna see where it would go before I put that in. So we know we want it in 80. I'll put the spacer there. Pop that guy in right down on top of the spacer so it sits flush. And as you can see, this SSD comes with the heat sink already installed. Some of them don't come with that. And um, I think it's recommended that the PlayStation ones have that. You can maybe buy an aftermarket one if yours does not. But of course, Sarah thought of everything. Designed this specifically for PS5 upgrade. All right, so we'll screw this back on. You don't have to get it super tight. You still want it rattling around. We're good to go there. We'll put the cover back on. Slide the bigger end in first, put it down, and then we'll pop in our branded PlayStation screw there. Tighten that back up. And then we'll put this cover back on opposite of how it came off. So we'll put it down here on the bottom, bottom side and then we'll slide up. There we go. We're good to go. And that, my friends, is how you install an SSD in your PS5. Once again, thank you so much to Corsair for sending this along so we can upgrade ours. Before we take off, I wanna hear what your favorite game on the PlayStation 5 is right now. Let me know down in the comment section below. If you liked this video, appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you know when the next video drops, and we'll see you next time.